In the last video, we had an introduction to Ansible and its main components, something like a high level. Since we know that we must get our hands dirty to learn Ansible, uh, let us install Ansible in our lab setup and start practicing. So as I mentioned in the last video, uh, we will do more hands on rather than talking uh, theories and concepts. Please comment if you need more clarification, then we can work on that. Now, basically, you need to arrange a lab setup with a Ansible control node and one or more managed nodes. As we know that we don't get the luxury of a dedicated lab setup uh, for learning and purpose. We are planning to run our labs using a local laptop or your workstation. So we will use a virtual box and create multiple virtual machines or VMs for practicing Ansible. If you have better arrangements for virtual machines like in public cloud account or on-premise local servers, please use the same. So, uh, what are the requirements for setting up a Ansible control node? Control node is just the machine where we install the Ansible program and will contain copies of your project files including Ansible playbooks. It can be a workstation, a virtual machine or a dedicated server in the environment. There is no specific hardware requirement for control node server for our lab setup or in production. Yeah, but in production, you need to consider the workload and design your Ansible engine accordingly. Control node must be a Linux uh, or Unix system as Windows uh, systems are not currently supported natively. But keep in mind that still you can use Ansible control node on Linux system to manage your Windows machines. Please watch the video for more details. Uh, please see the description of this video. Then you should have a Python 2.6 or uh, later installed. What about uh, managed host or managed nodes? These are listed servers or nodes in the inventory, defined as static or via dynamic inventory scripts on which Ansible commands or playbooks tasks need to be executed. The requirement is very simple, but some difference for Linux and Windows. So for Windows, uh, sorry, for Linux systems, Linux managed hosts need to have Python 2, actually 2.4 or later, uh, installed for most modules to work. Then uh, Python symbol JSON uh, should be installed if it's older than 12.5. Then lib se Linux uh, equal to Python if se Linux is enabled. What about Windows managed nodes? Most of the modules specifically designed for Microsoft Windows host requires PowerShell 3.0 or higher on the managed node rather than Python. Then .NET 4.0 to be installed. Then a WinRM listener should be created and activated. Uh, let's set up our lab in the next uh, video. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel for the latest uh, videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time with another video.